It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Good morning. I know the the sun is not out, so it's a little dark where I'm at. <clears throat> I wanted to come out here as I on my journey to the next adventure. I was just thinking, can nurse retire? Can we? I need you to think about this. Can nurses retire for good, never come back? You know, when I was, you know, with all the crisis going on and they say calling nurses to come back. And I happened to work with nurses that were, should have retired and stayed out retired. But due to grown kids, whatever incident, I'm not knocking them, come back home to live with their parents. The parents finding themselves like they have to go out back into the market, back into the nursing field, which means they could be a disadvantage salary-wise. I'm not going to stay out here long because you see the water behind me. It's from a distance, it looked good, but the water doesn't look as blue as I would want it to be. But it's a lake, and you know what's the lake? Uh, I'm not sure if it's a man-made or what, but it's stretched all the way down. It has a nice walking part. Anyway, can we retire? Can nurse walk away? Walk away from nursing, that's it. And it dawned on me, and before you even say a word, before, because I know the young nurse is going to say, I'll tell you what, when I was in New York, I met a lot of new nurses, new grad. They say, oh, yeah, I'm making this money. I'm going to get a business. They just started nursing, but they're going to get a business. I'm going to walk away from nursing, whatever. Looking at the bug. I don't want him to get in my room. Um, <clears throat> they're going to do that. Is that possible? Is that feasible? I don't think so. A lot of nurses will come on here and say, yeah, yeah, I've walked away from nursing. And then say a big, rapid response. And I know because I deal with some of those nurses and I see them come back into the nurse. You can't really physically retire. No matter how much money you think nurses make, they can't retire. They can't walk away. So my thing, and I'm just talking, I'm not talking about a specific, just general here. We have to find our passion, utilize our passion, open that we achieve something that we can walk away or have something so that in a crisis like this, we're not out there trying to get a job. And it dawned on me, and it was weighing heavily on my mind, and me personally, you know, as I was taking that next plane ride, that next car ride to my destination, and I'm saying, walking away from many years of Missing birthdays, my kids will tell you. Missing anniversary, missing family reunion, missing a lot of things working as a nurse. And what would be different for me if I had to walk away and give it up? I will do it in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat, if I had the things that I'm preparing, hopefully it will start rolling in. If you start a business, let's be realistic. Nothing happened overnight unless you're a genius 
and you have a product that everybody wants. Or you just happen to hit the jackpot. I'm not good at lottery. Gambling is not my thing. So that's not for me. But there are times when, so you'll meet a lot of people. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that we can't really, some of us really can walk away from nursing. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I don't want to walk away. Yes, I do. It's time. Time to just lay it all on the line and just walk away. What would it take for me to walk away? You know, sometimes you just have to just walk out on faith. And I'm not there yet, to be honest. I'm waiting. I'm not waiting. Yeah. Interesting to see what's the outcome. I've been watching videos that say, oh, I retire at 25, I retire at 33, I retire at 19 as a nurse, you know? Realistically, they may. They may be able to retire, but most of us, we're still there. I was talking to a nurse the other day. She's actually, I called because it was her birthday. She's 75 and she said, I'm stuck here in California working because who's going to hire me? Mar I think she's marketable. She's strong. She's doing her work, but she feels she has bottom out based on her experience salary wise. So she just stayed in California. I wish she would come back home because her home is is in New York, but she's on this travel assignment. And I thought about that, you know, I'm beginning to feel like it's time for me to wind down. You know, I may not take local contract because Atlanta is very scarce in terms of, they put stipulation. PRN is not PRN in Atlanta. PRN is like you, they want you to do, give them a schedule, full-time schedule, and you work in 40 hours, and then you may not even get any benefits. So it's, it's to me, it's like you're a full-time job, but you're not getting the perks of a full-time. So you have to, it's your choice. So... And then I, I really want to emphasize, it's the truth. Not everybody can walk away from it. So that's what I was thinking about. You know, I was thinking, why? Why did I? You know, it's a sustainable, it's a wonderful career. I don't, Wonderful travel and adventures. I met all these nurses, and I just feel for the past few weeks. I don't know if it's because of the COVID nineteen. Finally, we are trying to reevaluate re ourselves. What's next? And that fear of going out into crowds, we tend to think of the alternative. And so I want to step up the business that I have been focusing on and maybe go full time on it and see how it works and stay into nursing on a PRN basis. Travel a little less, but I can't promise. I can't promise myself. It's, it's something about exploring new. And the funny thing about that is once you start traveling, once you take a travel assignment, there's no looking back. You cannot go back as a staff nurse 
for some reason. Doesn't matter. As a matter of fact, somebody asked me a question. I'm going off the topic now. What travel agency I'm loyal to? I'll try to make it next week because I think that's good for you to know in terms of you can do your own research. What's loyal? What Who I'm loyal to may be different for you. So I just wanted to come out here and share my thoughts about retirement and we need to have something in place. We do. Because I've, I've met so many older nurses that doesn't look. The money may seem good at the time. It's just flowing. It's coming in. And when you start taking, no, you want to be exempt. No tax. And I did a video on that. Take a tax out. No Medicare is taken out. And you find yourself, when you get those monies, all the money up front, you don't really put aside anything for yourself. Or in an emergency, you have to go back out in nursing. So I want you to think about all that. I'm, I'm big on investment. I'm not into, I was a landlord before. I don't like that. I don't like, if I'm moving on, which when I move from Georgia, I plan to move on. I don't want to be a landlord anymore because that's a different kind of, it's good, but that's a different kind of responsibility, different kind of stress that I don't want. So you could do a lot of things. Just find your passion, do something. Now's the time while you're sitting home, some is not working. I know a lot of nurses hadn't come out the house because they relying on unemployment. I don't, and it's that's my opinion, when I leave a next assignment, I don't really apply for any unemployment. And you can't. If I just came from New Jersey and I live in Atlanta, I can, I can apply for unemployment in New Jersey. But I don't because I know there will, I can wait it out because there will be something else coming around the corner. And that's because you have to be disciplined. You have to set your side. Thank God for my friend, Veronica. She thought she kind of teach me a little over the years what to do. Patrice, once you work, do this, and then you put this in saving, and then you do what? And every time I try to say, oh, I'm going to go exempt, she said, don't you go exempt. Well, I went exempt one time, and the money that I saved, Uncle Sam said, hello, Patrice, give it back. It wasn't yours. And I was so angry. So that was a lesson. I don't do it anymore, but that's besides the point. So I can sit home. I don't have to go in the unemployment. I don't want to do that. I was home from New York. Many, many I know went into the unemployment line. Here I am. Another assignment came in. I waited out because I was, I had my ducks in order. So I'm not saying this to brag. I'm saying that you need to know the next step. Plan B, they say. Get your ducks in order. This, you may not have a lot of savings. Some people go out back into nursing to fix the kitchen. Some people go back in nursing to get that new car. Some people go back in nursing because they just want to be in the field of nursing. Because here's another thing, and I thought about that while I was driving the other day. Who's going to call? When it's all over, who am I going to call and who's going to call me? I have the friends that I have, they're all travel nursing. I have never really made friends 
with locals, make friends with the people around me. So I can't, when it's down to you're out of it, and I'm I'm saying friends, but it's really associate. You see them in travel, they see you, they they your friend for that assignment. When it's all over, some people, some nurses, I should say, not some people, some nurses go back into, out of retirement. They can't walk away from nursing because they feel lonely. Loneliness will drive you. And then if you're not feeling secure within yourself, if you feel, and I think, this isolation and being a sight nurse has helped me tremendously mentally. It didn't break me. Isolation, loneliness, you feel, I talked to one nurse, she said, I got to get out of this house. I got to get out. I'm going to take anything. Just being around people, laughing. People that understand you, that understand the dilemma, and you can talk nursing to them. And so loneliness will drive you out back. You can't walk away from nursing. And then when you get there, that's another dilemma. You ever take an assignment and it sounds so good? And then when you get there, you say, what did I get myself into? All because that drive. And, and you won't understand that drive, that excitement, having your bags packed, having to know that you're going to hop on a plane, go anywhere, explore the city. And you won't understand that feeling, that rush that high. It's almost better than me when I'm doing coupon shopping and I'm like, oh, I cheat the system. I got it. I got it. I got over. <laughs> but, and I don't, when I come home from traveling, take out everything, wash, and stack them back in the suitcase. And the suitcase is always at the door. Lately, when I know I have to go on a travel assignment, I don't know what it is, but there's a sadness that come over me because here I am going away again and I kind of got to know and like my home and feel comfortable. And now I have to go again into another new environment, into a hotel that I have to adjust to that agency rules. I have to adjust to the hospital rules, feel restriction and restricted and doesn't feel free. I wish I was back home, but I had to make that decision. And so, but sometimes I don't even, it's just the excitement. Oh, I've never been to Alaska, but the agency wants you to go to Alaska. I'll go. Hawaii, I'll go just to go just for the travel experience. And it's, sometimes it's not even the money the nurses are going for. A lot of young nurses will say, oh, if it's not the money, I'm not going to go. You have to have a balance. I like exploring. I like the fact that, I'm, yeah, I'm working, but the other perks, I can have a vacation exploring that city. I can say I came to Chicago. I came to Phil not Philadelphia. I'm sorry. I came to Rhode Island. I went to Maine. I can say I went to those places and see it. And it's evolved in the pictures that I take. Some of the agency, it depends. I don't think any now during the crisis, allow your family to come and enjoy the vacation with you. But in the past, the kids had come and we enjoy ourselves when we go. 
but everywhere is closed, so it's a different ball game now. So it's that rush. And then when you get here, it's like, okay, I see everything. I want to go home. So that sadness when they call me, you know, I'm all ready to go. But when the final day comes for me to step out and get the plane and do all that, I kind of feel a little sadness, like I'm leaving part of me behind. Forget about my blabbering. <laughs> So I just wanted to come out. Can we really retire nurses? And if you have a business, a legitimate business, and you have already retired nurses, just leave a comment. Tell me, you know, leave it so we can all leave it so we can all support you nurses and we can just dis let's discuss it further let's discuss can we retire leave a comment definitely want to collaborate with someone that's walk away from nursing i want to hear your experience i want to want you to share it with us